structural developments. Ahmed advised the federal government to review the waivers and concessions already granted to corporate entities, saying the upper chambers within the remaining period of its tenure would engage revenue generating agency with a view of shoring up the country's earnings. But well, we're not earning enough. Yes. And we, we don't seem to, the tax net is not covering, is not wide enough yes. to cover all people. Mm. And upon this, government will still Give grant tax, tax, incentives to tax waivers, tax incentive to some corporation. The Senate president is Actually, the, the whole idea of giving tax in incentives, tax holidays, waivers, it, it's a very good one. It's actually to attract investment and all of that to also uh, help companies to be able to, you know, recoup their investment, to, not to, to put so much burden on them. It, I, I get it. It's, it's, it's good. It's good. But there are criteria. There are criteria for giving those incentives. But what the Senate is complaining about now is that it's done indiscriminately. That's one. Secondly, the fact that we are borrowing too much. Mm. We are borrowing too much to finance our budget. Now we have uh, over 2023 legitimate. They need to look into how even those incentives are given. That's one. Two, agencies that you know, conduct their business in, government in, a, in, a, very, in, in a very obscure way. And you don't even know what they are earning. You don't even know what they are generating. Mm -hmm. And uh, they just, nobody... And they don't remit. They don't remit. And nobody talks about it. Or you, you, we talk about it, just you. look at it as if it's nothing. There are people are not, a lot of people are also evading tax. I just hope that, you know, many times the, the, the legislative arm is like a, a dog that barks, I cannot bite. I just hope this is not some grandstanding. This, if the Senate is inviting these agencies, it's fine. The agencies will be exposed. Why they will be dis those who air those agencies will be disgraced. Our recommendations will be made for them to be, you know, there will be, there will be consequences. There will be consequences. Remember, let me just remember even Jam, just Jam. Somebody was there before. Yeah. And then he could you remember when Professor Dibo was there? Yes. He, 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 could, he couldn't generate anything. And this man that is there now. Isha Koloyede. Uh, Isha Koloyede. Look, look, look at. Because that man. That's not the fact that it's not a revenue generating agency. It's not. A, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's not a revenue generating agency. And because the man there is honest, is sincere. Look how this happening. Dibo Ojoyede is under prosecution now. How, how much more agencies that are supposed to gen, that are supposed to generate revenues and they are doing so see we are we we are owing so much and then servicing of debt look at how much you are even spending to service our debt it does not it does not make sense to keep borrowing you are borrowing you keep borrowing you keep borrowing you can't even pay what you borrowed i mean what it costs you to finance your to to fund your loan you know it's even it's it's, it's a burden so the whole thing is it's very nonsensical so if the Senate is saying this now, yes, they should say it. They should say it, but we want to see consequences. That's the, that's the problem I have in, with uh, our, our, our polity. We make a lot of noise, you know. And then Senate can invite people now, invite the heads of agencies, and then they make all the noise. And then that is it. The election, mm. election come, another election comes, and then the cycle continues. It's very bad. This tax holiday is import waivers and concessions being granted to investors. Yeah, you know, President Boris, I mean, some months ago, promising more <laughs> in win for for the said president is not happy. You know, yes, but you see, <laughs> look at the look, look at the way it is. Okay, for instance, if according to the Finance Act, if you don't generate up to twenty five million naira turnover in a year, you don't have to pay common income tax. You don't have to pay VAT. So look at that. In order to help SMEs, mm -hmm. otherwise so they will collapse. Business. There will not be jobs, and SMEs are really employing a lot of people. That is one side of the startups. It. The other side of it is that the big names. There are these big names that have been enjoying these tax waivers and all that. And I think, um, I think 
it's not supposed to last beyond five years so it's five years in the first instance and then I maybe it's three years in the first instance no, now it's five applied. years in second instance two years so it's not supposed to last more than mm. seven years that psi mm. that, um, that that psi okay. is the expert now you find out that it has become indiscriminate all kinds of people are being brought in yes you bring in you give them these things but let us even look at the oil and gas industry the different in the, the risk, look at the issue between multi choice and the federal government that lasted for some time at the tax tribunal what you know the back and forth and everything if they can look at all these sectors there's a lot of money hiding in these sectors that if they can get this money and then implement the stamp duty act very well the other day i don't remember state government i saw something they put on facebook about stamp duty act reminding people doing business in the state that you know its revenue agency has started the collection strict implementation of the stamp duty act so definitely when you deal with all these sectors make sure that money that can easily be collected is collected then mm. we will now incorporate social responsibility projects and um, some will even take up um, maintenance of our big infrastructure and in compensation the federal government will have to give them tax holiday yeah <clears throat> we see companies um, approach the government to say they want to do this they want to do that but most of the time, it is Nigeria that gets the short end of the stick. Yeah. People will praise them, oh, they are fixing roads or government, this and that. At what cost? If you investigate early, you will see that the government has even been cheated in a way. Because you forego the tax that they should pay, you give tax holiday and all that. What is not is that look, it has to use the law to regulate the processes by which these are granted um, tax waivers, uh, granted uh, um, tax holidays, and all that. Even some of them are exempted from paying duty. There are some items that you are supposed to pay duty for. Once some powerful people in government have stake in that company, or they like the particular importer, you pile pressure on the finance minister to include um, the thing that, that the line of business that that company is doing in their import duty waiver. For example, if you are importing raw material, if they are interested, if you are close to them, instead of you to pay duty, they will exempt you from paying and you wait. It is a company, it is a government that, I mean, it is a country that is losing. You reward your friends with all kinds of illegal waivers at the expense of the state. Whereas this is a country that cannot find money to fund projects. Pashola was saying the other day that they were looking for money to complete the uh, Lagos Badna Expressway, that uh, funding was an issue. You know, after all these years, we still can't find enough money. Despite some of the money from uh, the Abacha loot and uh, the Sovereign Wealth Fund, that we have, we have used, we still can't find enough money to get the job done. So how can a country that is not generating enough be making it difficult for its uh, significant uh, amounts of money through all these illegal waivers that, uh, that are being done all over the place? So it is a good... Uh, measure on the part of the National Assembly. No one is saying that they should not, um, that there should be no tax holidays and, and all that. Even when they develop what some people get tax holidays in exchange for some good things that they do, but the process has to be transparent. Mm -hmm. It is those who deserve it that should get it. You and I know that in our country, a lot of people get what they do not is out mm. and the argument 
the National Assembly is that, look, in the last five years, we have failed revenue totaling 3.9 trillion. Look at the gap. In 2019, the target was 7 trillion. We were only able to collect 4.12 trillion naira. In 2020, the target was 5.4 trillion. We were only able to collect 3.9 trillion. In 2021, the target was 6.4 trillion. We were only able to collect revenue of 4.64 trillion naira. In 2022, the target was 5.82 trillion naira. We were only able to collect revenue of 3.6 trillion. Whereas back in 2015, we only spent 32.7% of our okay. revenue to Did service. They... So something must give, something has to happen. If we want to, we cannot survive if we continue to have this low revenue. If we, can, we just cannot survive. A time will come when you won't be able to borrow money anymore. That's what the, 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 the same Senate president who has been approving um, request to borrow money has now realized anymore. that we can't continue like this. We can't. So he said it that the time has to come that we will stop. Okay. Let me take this final break. When we come back, we'll talk more.